Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for stopping by the channel for a video. Uh, you may be able to hear my voice. I'm fighting off uh, an illness at the moment. So I've been a little bit quiet in the hobby. So if you're waiting to hear back from me on an email or a text or um, I've been a little bit out of touch, it's not you, it's me. Um, had a really crazy work stretch where I was uh, working about 13 or 14 days in a row. Uh, many of them 12 hour days without a day off. And uh, I think my body just told me uh, enough is enough. And I've been fighting an illness uh, as soon as that ended here. Um, so it's been a few weeks since I really had any considerable amount of time to sit down and devote to the hobby. And so even though I'm not feeling entirely myself, uh, I'm going a little stir crazy. So I wanted to get on and make a video today. And there are a few or a couple of themes that I wanted to touch on. Uh, patience in the hobby player runs, uh, and also working your hobby network to your advantage and being a good communicator uh, in the hobby, which I think is, is really important. So uh, let's talk first about patience and player runs. So this box here is a lot that I won back in December, and I just couldn't be happier with it. And uh, I haven't opened it up yet other than to take a quick peek to make sure the contents were what I thought they were. Um, but this has been sitting around for weeks now, uh, waiting to see the light of day here on the channel. And uh, we're going to get to some amazing baseball cards shortly. So hang with me or fast forward if this isn't, you know, your thing. But before we do, these are actually Star Wars cards. And I've talked about this set many times in the past. Uh, these are from the Star Wars High Tech release. And this was put out for three years consecutively from 2015 uh, through 2017. And they are among my favorite Star Wars cards ever produced. Uh, I just love the acetate cardstock and the foil element. Uh, I think all of that is just perfect for a science fiction based uh, movie franchise and set. And this lot came up. It's a lot of 12 cards from Star Wars High Tech. They're all serial numbered. And I was able to win this, I, I couldn't believe it, for about $60. Um, so when you do the math, that comes out to, you know, roughly $5 a card. Uh, almost exactly. And then when you uh, include shipping, I was maybe closer to $6 per card. But one of the cards in the slot, I was watching the only other copy on eBay, uh, which was like $75 or best offer. I had been watching it for months, hoping to get an offer and never did. Uh, and then just by waiting it out, uh, one turned up in this lot. So this is definitely an exercise in hobby patience, which is something that I think all of us uh, at one time or another could use a little more of myself included. Uh, it's easy to get wrapped up and to kind of panic or fear of missing out by a card. But the reality is, except in some very rare cases where it makes sense to just immediately spring for it, odds are if you wait it out, there are going to be other opportunities in the future. So let's just get to this lot. Um, these are the diffractor cards. Um, so they're serial numbered to 99. And this particular lot is from 2015. So this is the first year of the Star Wars high-tech release. And so, you know, $5 a card or $6 a card shipped for these is crazy to me. Um, the one that I think I already possibly owned is this Luke Skywalker. I think I submitted one of these uh, for grading in my very first uh, SGC submission, uh, maybe a year or two back. Um, but I'm not sure if it's this exact pattern and I'm, I'm very grateful to have another regardless. Uh, sort of the protagonist of... Uh, the, uh, of my youth, really, my, my favorite movie franchise of my youth. And uh, so, yeah, this one alone, uh, I would have probably paid half the cost of this lot just to get this card. And what was amazing to me, it kind of looked like in the, in the photo, the seller had all of these in one-touch magnetics. And I just had kind of a gut feeling um, that possibly he or she would include all of these in the lot and just ship them as is. And that is exactly what happened. So in addition to the great deal I got on the cards... Uh, I got 12 nice, shiny, one-touch magnetics out of this as well. And look at the back on this. Just awesome. Uh, Luke Skywalker, and you can see the serial numbering. I don't know if you can make it out. Copy 94 of 99. So some of these are going to be kind of bit characters uh, and secondary characters. And, you know, maybe in those cases, $5 a card is, is maybe right on. But we've got Lando Calrissian, a uh, favorite of mine, Yoda. This one definitely attracted me to the lot for sure. Love Yoda and just look at the look at the shine on these. They're so cool. Um, I'm really I was absolutely stunned to get this uh, lot at the price that I did. 
Here's Chewie. So again, a lot of the main characters here, there are a couple bit characters, but a lot of the really big players uh, from the original trilogy, uh, R2-D2. And every one of these, again, numbered to 99. Uh, you've got the Tusken Raider. So probably one of the lesser uh, popular characters in this particular lot. And then this is the one that really drew me to it. Darth Vader. I'm a huge Darth Vader fan. And this was the card that I had been watching for about, I think it was $75 or best offer. Uh, buy it now. And I nearly, you know, sent out offers on that card multiple times, but uh, restrained myself and was able to get him and 11 companions instead uh, for probably around the same amount of money that I would have got just the the Darth Vader from that particular seller. So just awesome. Really, really grateful to have that one in the collection. Can't go wrong if you're a Star Wars fan. Can't go wrong with Darth Vader cards. Great stuff. Uh, here's one of my favorite bit characters, Jabba the Hutt. And then uh, his pet, the Rancor, who uh, has the same teeth as Leo, my French bulldog. I always kid him that he's uh, the Rancor of our house. A couple more to 99 there. Almost done with these. Got a Jawa, and then also got Django Fett and C-3PO. So we saw R2-D2, and we have the other main droid as well in C-3PO. So just a really cool Star Wars lot there. Uh, very grateful to get all those magnetic one-touches and a huge boost to my Star Wars high-tech collection uh, and an example of just being patient, being patient in the hobby. And on that note, um, really quick before we move off Star Wars, one of the cards that I had on my list for my 50 for 2023 project that I did last year was the 2017 Topps High Tech Darth Vader in gold, numbered to 50. And the reason that was on the list, I've shown these before, um, but of the three original High Tech Vaders, I had the first two, the 2015 here on the left and the 2016 on the right, had both of those in gold 50. And so last year I looked for 12 months, the entire year, uh, it was on my list of 50 for 2023, and a, a single copy of the 2017 Vader Gold never surfaced. Uh, well, as luck would have it, in early January of this year, because I still have my save search uh, set up, which is how I found that lot that we saw uh, at the outset of the video, a 2017 surfaced at auction, 99 cents, minimum starting bid. Uh, I knew I was going to bring it home and I was going to go big, but in the end, it only cost me $31.00. And I got the third and final Darth Vader Tech Gold number to 50. So I now have the trio complete at last. It took me years to get it done. But I have the 2015, the 2016, and this 2017 all in gold. So a uh, really great couple of months here for my Star Wars collection over the course of the winter. Uh, and now let's move into baseball. I have two baseball pickups that I want to look at. And there's a little bit of a backstory to each. Uh, the first is going to be a Hank Aaron, and it's not this card. I've shown this one before, uh, but this is the gold-minted Hank Aaron from 2017 Top Stadium Club, and these are just gorgeous cards. Um, they've been out for, I think, seven or eight years running now uh, as a parallel, and the way this works is 300 cards in the Stadium Club set uh, every year, and out of those 300, 90 subjects are chosen to uh, have chrome parallels done or really, I guess, chrome inserts because they don't parallel the whole set. Uh, so only 90 subjects of the 300 get the chrome treatment. And then of those 90, uh, you can also get these gold minted parallels of the chrome cards of those 90 players. And these are really difficult. These are case hits, one per case, uh, with 90 subjects, as I said, on the checklist. So uh, you would, with perfect collation, pull any one player's gold minted, uh, at a rate of just one per 90 hobby cases. And I think they are hobby exclusives, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so anyway, Hank Aaron, you know, he's not in the set every year and he's not included in the 90 card Chrome portion of the set every year, even when he's in the regular set. But uh, the years where he does make it, I've got a player run going of his cards. So just like, you know, completing the Darth Vader player run that we just looked at, quote unquote, a minute ago, uh, working on this Hank Aaron uh, which also has some gold tones to it, just like the Vader. So I thought it would be uh, good to lump these into this video. So in the past, I've shown these off, but that's the 2017 there. Uh, he made the Chrome checklist again in 2018. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Just love, love, love this card. There's the 2018. Uh, in 2019, we got a nice horizontal batting image. 
And then in 2020, Tops being Tops, they reused the photo from 2018, which is a great photo, but, uh, you know, cropped slightly further away, but really much the same card. But uh, being the completest on this run, I had to get it. So up until this past year, those were the only four gold-minted Hank Aaron cards. Uh, however, in the 2023 release, which actually came out uh, early 2024 due to production delays, uh, so this, this set has only been out a few weeks now, um, but being my favorite set every year, I'm always on the lookout. And I had spotted on the checklist ahead of time that Hank Aaron was included in the chrome portion of the set in 2023 after an absence for the last couple of years prior. And so, of course, uh, as soon as singles started to hit eBay, I got on the hunt and uh, was able to track down this one. Great image here. I think this is from like an all-star game or something. Um, I don't know who number 10 is in the foreground. I'm embarrassed to say. Maybe somebody can fill me in. Uh, but I love this shot. And it almost looks like Fenway Park. Or like that could be the green monster in the background. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but um, really cool. I, I love that we get a different image of Hank. And uh, these are just really shiny and can't miss. They're not serial numbered, um, so they're not for everybody. You know, a lot of times gold you think of as being numbered to 50, like this Darth Vader card that we saw earlier. These are not numbered, but if you know enough to know uh, about Stadium Club and their scarcity and just how many packs of Stadium Club product you would have to open uh, to pull one of these. I just think they're really awesome cards and uh, grateful to keep my Hank Aaron player run of Stadium Club Chrome Gold Minted going. Uh, he does make the checklist a lot of years, so I'm hoping there'll be more in the future for me to chase down. Uh, but as for today, this is the fifth and final uh, in the complete run of Hank Aaron Stadium Club Gold Minted. Then I have one more baseball card here as uh, my voice is kind of failing. Again, apologies. Um, I had shown this one in a recent video, and this um, kind of checks both of my collecting focus boxes for 2024. It's the Prism Cool Papa Bell from last year. This is the um, gold, black and gold shimmer, and it's numbered to just five. Copy one of five here, and uh, I'm honored to have this card, and I told the story. I'll keep it quick uh, when I pick this up, but this was a case of just reaching out and communicating to a seller because this card hit the market. Uh, late at night on a weekend around 11 p.m. Eastern time, I think it was, um, was shortly before I was going to bed, was cruising around looking at some of my saved searches and saw this pop up. And I knew if I waited probably even until the morning, somebody would place a bid on this and negating the, the option to kind of make a best offer or reach out to the seller. So I wanted to try to swipe this card. So I reached out to the seller. Um, he must be, I don't know if he's in a different time zone or he's a night owl, but he got back to me within about five minutes. And long story short, we worked out a deal. He changed this to a buy it now, late at night for $50, and I scooped it up immediately. So that's that's a story I've already told, um, but there is a follow-up to that, and it just stresses the importance of, you know, developing relationships in the hobby. You know, we're all on this for the cards, but it's not all about the cards. Uh, developing relationships and friendships has tremendous benefits, not just for your personal life, but for your collection. Um, so I had mentioned at the time... Uh, when I picked that up, that the seller had let me know, hey, you know, I'm ripping some more Prism in the coming days. I've got, I think, some more, a couple more cases coming in. Are there any cards you're looking for? And so I told him, you know, if you get any cool Papa Bell or Buck Leonard, the two Negro League players on the checklist, or uh, Sam Rice, who I've also been collecting, another old-time great and Hall of Famer, let me know. Well, what do you know, about a week later, I got a private message on eBay from the same seller he had pulled another super difficult, cool Papa Bell. And this time we, we worked out a transaction where this card was already agreed upon before it ever even hit eBay. And he listed it specifically just for me to pick up. We coordinated the timing uh, so that I could snatch it right away. And I got this for even significantly cheaper uh, than the black and gold shimmer uh, because it is numbered slightly higher, but also because I had developed a rapport with this seller. So prime example of just making connections uh, in the hobby and using those to your advantage. So here's the card, the final card for today's video. Got the blue shimmer. And this one is numbered to seven. Um, so other than the one of ones, there are two one of ones. Um, I haven't seen either of them surface yet as far as Cool Papa Bell is concerned. Uh, but outside of those two one of ones, there are two cards to five and this one to seven. And those are the only cards numbered below 10. Uh, I think they might even be the only cards numbered below 25. So to get two of the three of those uh, from the same seller over a course of, you know, period of maybe 
two to three weeks was just amazing. And it was a great way to fast track uh, this cool Papa Bell rainbow that I have going. Uh, who knows what would have happened if this card had hit the open market. I may have been outbid and I may never have been able to add it to my collection. I, I think there's a lot of this set that's unripped out there. And I'm just really, really grateful for that seller for uh, reaching out and actually listening to my feedback and keeping an eye out for me. And uh, it doesn't get much better in the hobby than when other people are looking out for your collection on your behalf. So there's uh, the final card for today's video. A little bit of Star Wars, a little bit of uh, post-playing era baseball and Negro League baseball, which are my two collecting focuses for the year. Uh, I hope to be back at it soon here. I do have the conclusion of my 100 card countdown, uh, cards 25 through 1, set to the side. And if uh, my voice feels okay uh, after this video, I may keep going and record that uh, to get that up soon. But for now, we're going to leave it there. I really appreciate you. I know there's a ton of content out there for you to consume. Uh, and it means a ton to me that you chose to stop by the channel today and to check out this video. I hope you're all enjoying the hobby. And I'll be back very soon. Until then, take care.